here we are in our course and I'm going to hit this little button on the left. It's kind of hidden, but if you hit change a course layout, there are three different options that you can do. So we can do the sidebar, we can hit okay and we'll do preview. So this is what our students are going to see and they can see, I'm going to move me over here to the left or to the right. So they can see the lessons and the sidebar is going to be on the left. That is option number one or we can do course light and we can do a top menu. Let's look at that and hit proceed. Then we can hit preview. Now the progress is at the top and they can see the modules up here and they can click on the different lessons with this little arrow drop down. And so that is the lessons there. And then there does have the bottom of the continue for the next module. Or there is a course layout for grid. So let's hit OK, proceed. And then we're going to hit preview. If you want to go even deeper into Thrivecart, I have a free course that walks you through Thrivecart, setting up Thrivecart, all the ins and outs of Thrivecart. It's a over the shoulder type of view where you can see exactly what I'm doing click by click. And I also have modules on things like pricing a course, how to come up with your course topic, how to market a course, how to get beta testers in a course. It goes to the ins and outs of setting up a course, launching a course. And like I said, it is completely free. So definitely check it out down below in the description. Here is the preview here. And you can see the grid of the two different modules here. And then we can go back. Now, another thing that you can edit is these little modules here. So they are little graduation hats, but you can actually edit these as well. So you're gonna hit the little image and the recommended size is 1280 by 960 pixels. So I am going to go to Canva and just make something super quick. And I'm going to be going to custom size and what was it, 1280 by 960. So 1280 by 960, create design. And I'm just gonna do something super simple. So I'm going to do this. And then this first lesson here is um, creating your first product. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm gonna search elements for product. So first product, I'm just gonna do it, this little box here and center it. And then for this other one, I'm gonna do um, launching your product. So I am going to duplicate this page. This one, I'm gonna do a different color and launch and this I want launching. So we're gonna make him pretty big. How big was this guy? Do those look about the same size? Let's bring them up. Yes, same size, okay. Let's center him. Okay, now I'm gonna download these two files. So two PNGs. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to Thrivecart and I'm gonna hit the little button there. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit this little image and hit upload and then untitled design. So this is gonna be the first one open. We're gonna hit save changes. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I would recommend honestly doing this after you have all of your modules created so you can just go through and bang them all out. and It'll be a lot quicker. Hit save changes and then this one I'm going to do the other guy. And that way the modules are color coded as well. Or if you wanna have them all one color in different, the logo, you can do that. So if I wanted, I could have just done how to sell with Thrivecart. I could have that as a logo for all of them, however you wanna do it. But I like having this kind of, this one is about products and this one is about launching. So that way they can see more of a glance of what it is, but totally customizable. And I just created that in Canva. And as you saw, it took me about 32 seconds. So that is how you customize in Thrivecart. The next step is to set up all the integrations for your Thrivecart course and connecting it with Zapier or ConvertKit or all the different platforms that you use. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video here.